Hey everyone, someone here from Wind Strength. On today's quick training tip video, I wanted to talk about uh, not trying to do too much. Now, hopefully with your training, you've got some sort of uh, program in place, uh, whether that be through somebody else or you're making your own program. Now, this kind of goes to people that are making their program or like to make adjustments to programs that they're already following. Um, with that in mind, it's kind of just letting you know that you don't need to try to do too much in one session. Now, when we leave a training session, uh, for the most part, there should be some gas in the tank. You shouldn't be dead or spent or on the verge of rhabdo when you finish every workout session. Uh, think of it like we're building a bridge. We're not stress testing the bridge every single time we go into the gym. Now, where this comes from is the fact that your next set should be as productive as possible um, while being as uh, cheap as possible. And by that, I mean, is your stress that you're going to uh, experience uh, less than the, the gains or the productivity that you're gonna be able to get by performing that set. Uh, what I mean by this is you could spend four hours in the gym training as hard as you possibly could. Now I'm not detracting from the fact that yes, you could probably train for four hours every day for like a while and your body's gonna adapt to that. But the question I'm kind of raising here and the one you should answer for yourself, is that fourth hour as productive as that first hour? And that kind of goes the realm of, is that fourth set or fifth set as productive as that first set? Because are you able to exert as much power, output, and strength when you're a little bit more tired than when you're fresh? And the whole kind of thinking behind this way of training is that if you're adding on too much stuff, you're causing too much fatigue in the body that is no longer productive. So just say, let's play an extreme example out where we're doing... Um, 10 sets of 10 reps. We're doing 100 reps uh, of squats. Now that 99th squat is probably going to be going to be using a lot less weight than the 10th squat, provided you know you warmed up and all other things being equal. You're probably going to have to be dropping that weight in order to keep up with the amount of reps you're doing, the amount of volume you're doing. Uh, conversely, if you picked one weight to go for the entire 100 reps, that weight is going to be quite light to elicit any sort of strength or hypertrophy gains. Could you possibly get the same, a better effect from doing 40 reps, 10 sets of, four sets of 10 reps? Um, these kind of questions, you should be answering yourself if you're developing your own program because it's not enough to just keep throwing more and more and more into a training program. The point of a training program is to be able to balance our finite resources in order to get as uh, strong or build as much muscle as possible given time and recovery constraints. So hopefully that helps you with your training and resist the temptation to uh, go balls to the wall every single workout. Yes, the time does call for that, but it shouldn't be every single workout. You shouldn't walk out of 99% of your workouts feeling like you can't walk and you're like on the verge of hospitalization. Most of them you should walk out feeling, you know, a little bit more tired than when you walked in there. Not to say you didn't push yourself very hard, but we're progressively overloading, we're progressively getting better and getting stronger as time goes by. So each relative workout is only relatively more difficult than the last one. Hopefully that helps you with your training. This has been Salem from Wind Strength and remember, a better life through strength.